What's going on YouTube? So today in this video, as you can see, I'm going to be installing a new steering wheel. So this is my old one. The new one is installed already, but in this video I'm going to show you how to do that and what it looks like because it's pretty sweet. If you guys are new to this channel, I do a lot of car mod videos, car install videos, and some reviews from time to time. So if you guys want to see some stuff like that, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out on the next video. So for this install, you're going to need a few things. First things you're going to need is two different sockets, a 10 millimeter one and a 21 millimeter one, 3 8 inch ratchet wrench, 3 8 inch long socket extension, a number two Phillips screwdriver, a number four flathead screwdriver, and a small flathead screwdriver or a small pick. And of course, you need your aftermarket steering wheel. So for this install, I'm using the Corkspore instructions that are on their website. This is for their aftermarket steering wheel. These instructions are very detailed and actually really easy to follow. And I wouldn't do a better job, so I'm linking Corkspore's instructions because it's really well done. Corkspore also has a video that shows the airbag from the other side. And actually this is a super helpful video because you have an idea of what you're working with before you get into this install. So I suggest checking that out. I'll link that down below. The first thing you want to do is to disconnect the battery and wait 15 to 30 minutes before you start to remove the steering wheel. So once time has passed, now we're going to remove the airbag. There's three spots on the airbag, two at the top and one at the bottom that help release the airbag. We're going to start with the bottom one first. So taking your flathead screwdriver, you're going to start at the bottom and go straight toward the airbag and just directly push the airbag till you hit the spring and push on the spring and the airbag will release. It's kind of complicated to take uh, to explain where what to do when especially you can't see what's going on so imagine this is from the back and that's the hole you're putting your screw your screwdriver through and then this is the tab you're pushing right here so this is pushing this tab um, in the corksport video they're showing that from the back um, but because you're facing the other way it's a little bit more complicated so imagine just putting your screwdriver straight through uh, flat side facing this Imagine the steering wheel's turned, right? So, and you're putting basically your screwdriver against this, this piece right here, which is the spring, and it's pushing down on this, and that'll release it. So you get leverage on, on this side, so more on the outside, and then you're kind of pulling the screwdriver back, to kind of show what that looks like right now. The screwdriver's coming in like that, touching that piece right there, and then you're just kind of lifting and pushing down to activate this spring right here, so. So once the airbag's released, we're going to flip the airbag over. Do not unplug anything else just yet. We're going to remove the terminals directly connected to the airbag. Don't try to just yank them because there's actually safety tabs that are connected to it that you can use your small flathead screwdriver and remove. So the best way to do it is to really just get on the edge and slowly pry up the safety tabs. And then you get under it and you're going to pull it straight out. And you can do this for both of them. So the best way to kind of take this off is there's clips on the side that kind of hook onto the outs outside of the ring. You kind of want to depress those slightly and then lift it up. And you want to do this carefully because you don't want to break these clips because they need to go back in. Um, so kind of re repeat that on the other side. So here's a little demonstration of what that kind of looks like. Um, because I'm filming it's kind of hard to do it without two hands but you're using the screwdriver and you're just kind of releasing the clips on the side and then you're going to slowly pull the connector out. Voila, now the hardest part's done. Now we get to change the steering wheel. Once everything's unplugged inside the steering wheel, we're going to finally take off the bolts that holds in the steering wheel. This is the 21 millimeter bolt. Basically, it's only about 30 foot pounds of torque, so it's pretty easy to release. You just need the 21 millimeter socket with the extension and the ratchet. Before we actually take the steering wheel off, um, so I pulled the bolt off already. Um, before we actually pull the steering wheel off, we want to make sure that things level and straight. Um, so you kind of want to turn your steering wheel back. Because once you pull this off, you want to make sure this is in the right configuration. So if you put the hex, hex nut back in the wrong place, your steering will be not straight. One way to do it is to put like a, a mark there so that you know that's where it aligns with the steering wheel. 
um, because so these are just tabs, guide tabs to put back in. But once you pull the steering wheel off, so let me show you. Once you pull the steering wheel off, it kind of just moves around, and you want to keep it as stable as possible. But it does shift around, so you want to make sure this is exactly where you want it to be, straight up. So turn the steering wheel, make sure that it's straight on, so that when you put the steering wheel back. That's exactly where you want to go. To make sure you remember, put a mark at the top of it. Um, so remember, that's the top of the steering wheel column. This is not a good guide because it kind of moves around. So, steering wheel's off. Here it is. And now we're going to transplant this part, this and this part, to the new steering wheel. So with the steering wheel removed, we're going to move the cover on the back. Um, basically, it has four screws that you go and unscrew with your Phillips screwdriver. Um, these four screws also hold in the two paddle shifters on each side. The paddle shifters are held in by a small clip, so be careful not to just yank the paddle shifter. You're going to break the little clip, so you want to get your screwdriver slightly under it and lift so that you can pass it beyond the little tab. Once the screws are off, you're going to just pull the cover straight back. Um, they're just small little pressure tabs and it comes off pretty easily. Just need to pull slowly and the, all the tabs will release. Now there's two little small tabs that are holding in the cables at the bottom. You're just gonna release them and push them through. So the button assembly on the steering wheel is actually on there pretty tight. Um, don't try to bend back any clips to get them loose. The best way to do it is to slowly push at each one of the tabs and slowly try to push it through and then kind of evenly pressing on the tabs as you go along and it'll slowly get released. If you try to pull on some of the tabs, it'll actually snap them off, which I actually did here. So don't do that. Just slowly push them through and the buttons will come off the steering wheel. So now that the stock steering wheel is removed, and all the components have also been removed. Now we can finally install our new carbon fiber steering wheel. Basically everything's just in reverse order. So I'm just gonna speed through this until we get to the bolt section. Once the steering wheel is reassembled, we place it back on the steering column, rethread the bolt, and then torque down the bolt to between 31 and 39 foot pounds of torque. Now coming to the final stretch, we're just plugging everything back in. Make sure to remember to plug in the orange and the yellow plugs back into the airbag. Also remembering to plug in the black retention clips that go on top of the orange and yellow plugs already. Now you just push the airbag straight in with the three clips and with a little bit of pressure, it goes right back in, and you're pretty much good to go. So this carbon fiber steering is pretty sweet. It has a flat bottom. Flat top, nice little red racing stripe at the top. It has a lot of good grip places. So grip here, kind of like something to grab here. So grip there, something to hold down there. So definitely very, very grippy. Much more grippy than the stock steering wheel, which is pretty nice. I really like it. Um, this is Alcantara and with some red stitching. And this is real carbon fiber, not hydro dipped which is pretty sweet. And this is also real carbon fiber. And this is not real carbon fiber. I gotta find a way to get real carbon fiber on this guy. Overall, pretty sweet. I'm super excited. So I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, the install was actually surprisingly easy. Uh, once you kind of get into the groove and you kind of understand where things are, the challenge is not being able to see some of the things once you see it, it's kind of helpful to follow it and then you can use the instructions that are on the Corksport website that are super helpful. I know this is this is not a Corksport steering wheel, but the instructions 
are for replacing an aftermarket steering wheel and it's pretty good. So what do you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Too aggressive for my Mazda 3? Probably, but I don't know, makes me excited. Feels good, it's really nice in the hands. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know down below. The steering will also be on sale on gpytmfg.com. That's my website. That's also linked down below if you want to check it out. In the description box, I'll put a 10% discount code on it too. So if you guys want to purchase it yourself and get 10% off, there you go. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like it, hit that subscribe button. As always, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.